All right, today, folks, we're talking about stinky booty ass clients. <laughs> <laughs> we unfortunately are. Unfortunately, I went through uh, the worst smelling client I've ever experienced a couple months ago, and he smelled so bad and thank god there were witnesses james was there he was at the shop while i was trying to tattoo him it was horrible it was it was really bad uh when uh when he first came in i like walked out of my room because we've all got separate rooms at the shop and uh the day previous my client had a service dog and so i walked out of the room and it literally smelled like a fucking turd and so i thought Smell booty Did this cat? dog take a shit in the shop? Like it literally smelled like a fucking turd. It smelled like booty cat in the shop. It smelled whack as whack as fuck. And That's so gross. I sit down with him and I'm like showing him the design and, and whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm trying like not to make a face. And I almost said like, what the fuck is that smell? I would have uh, said it. I would personally. I probably said it. I probably fucking should have considering what I endured. But, uh, yeah, so we, like, got ready. We printed everything out. Uh, we had to make some adjustments to the design. Um, and then I, I started to realize, like, this is coming from you. From a human. From you. And this smells so bad. It smelled like, like something crawled inside your asshole. It died. smelled like he took all of his clothes and put them in a bucket of, like, piss and shit swirled it around and then put them back on like smelled, all, it smelled like what quato smelled like it literally smelled total recall so bad under that dude's shirt you know quato on the stomach <laughs> no nah. total recall total recall yeah, smelled like what quato that? sweat yeah. smelled yeah, like exactly no i i missed it that yeah. was too old you're too young it. for that one. that was actually the worst that i've ever encountered throughout my career really <laughs> when she had that client so that was like the worst did I've the, ever encountered. So did the stink like kind of like trail like cologne, like where right. they walked it? Yeah, like there was like a very there was a bubble, there was a barrier. Bubble, yeah. So check it out. I was out in the lobby and I had busted out some um, food that one of our coworkers had made, and uh, it was he gave me a bite of it while I was tattooing, and I was like, it's really good. And then he's like, there's some in the fridge. You just get as much as you want. And I was like, cool. So I like scooped it out of the fucking Tupperware and put it on a plate. And I sat on the desk outside in the lobby area, you know where my fucking computer desk is, that I sit right there and I'm eating right there. Before I started eating though, I smelt the funk. Like, and I, and I was like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, did this food go bad? I'm like, did this food go bad? So I smelled the food, I'm like, nah, it's not the food, it's all good. So I just ate it and like didn't think nothing of it. And I walked away and then I came back. You and caught I went, it again? I went to Nicole's room and I wanted to see what she was tattooing. And like, I was about to leave the shop, so I was like gonna say goodbye to her and have a conversation and just check out what she was tattooing. And I went up in there and I seen her with this client and he was like standing up and Nicole you was- You hit the force field. Yeah. Right I, at the doorway. I walked in there in the doorway and I was like, whoa. I was like, that's what that funk is right there. And normally I would walk all the way into the room and check out what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? Not today. And view the tattoo, but I stopped right there. Not today. It was like, it just, you shall not pass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I stepped in the threshold and I was like, I am not going further into this fucking room. And I smelt it, and I was like, damn, that's fucked up, man. And uh, I walked away, and I went to go use the bathroom, and I came back, and I think I was about to say goodbye at this point. And when I started walking up, I got to the couch, like, outside of a room, like, 10 foot away from the door, and I smelt it again, and I was like, I'm not going back in there. So I texted Nicole, and I was like, hey, look, I, I would like to say goodbye, but your, I client, can't. your client stanks <laughs> like hella. I was like, that's really, really bad, so I can't even go back in that room, and I just dipped. And then I text you back. I was like, I was going to text you like I'm fucking I can't breathe in here. Like there were times where <laughs> literally, breathe. literally on the inhale, I would have to stop. I was like, because it was that bad. I don't know how you did it without like discontinuing the session, because if it was me, <sighs> I don't I, know for sure. Like there's it depends on the tattoo. If it was something real small and it was quick, I might just like suck it up and like go through it. But there's a big part of me that would be like. You stink. Oh my this god. Is, this it, is not acceptable. On my uh on my appointment setup form, I have uh or like on my deposit agreement, one of the little things Same that they here. have to check hygiene. out hygiene. That's I'm like, you need to wear deodorant, too. you need to brush your teeth, you need to shower before you get here. Yeah, I don't have and that on mine. I wish I probably should have done you that. Should, it's on you should put a clause in there because it's on mine. Yeah. Mm. But otherwise you will be refused service. Yeah. And I just don't understand like what the how the fuck some you're people aren't aware up? 
How? <laughs> like, that was so do bad. Do you just literally not have a sense of smell? But the same thing happened to me. I went to go pee. I came back and like walking up to my room, I just hit this. I hit the stink way before I got there, and I was just like, I can't believe this Did is happening. Did you light a candle to me. Right. or anything after? Yeah. Why I, not during? Did you just not think of it? I or? just, I just uh, literally, I've never been in a situation like that because it was so bad. What do you do? And I, I you know, I honestly wonder if maybe like his dog or something like got peed on his clothes and then he didn't realize it until it so was too late. So he smelled like shit or piss? Both. It was so, like the worst me, and it was sour. he smelled like just straight B.O. It was like, I don't want to say it, but it's like that baloney smell that you smell with like a certain demographic of people. You know? <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, dude. Yeah, Asians smell terrible. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't know if that should be cut out, but there, nah. was, a, there was a baloney scent. And I, it was it was really, it was like you, rotten keep baloney. Keep that there. It was like rotten baloney. Damn. And it was horrible. So I'll just leave it at that. So It was, just, it was the worst that's ever been, that particular flavor. I hate that smell, dude. Everybody got a flavor. Right? I really do hate that. Everybody has a flavor. Smell, but and, and the thing, too, is it's it's Arizona in the summer. It's literally hitting 120. <laughs> we know, uh, like, people are going to show I'm not up gonna say sweaty. More about it. Okay. You know, like, mm -hmm. people can't help sweating literally just on the way to the shop and stuff. But, like, to have not, there there was absolutely no excuse for that odor. Like, literally. It was There's horrible. nothing to explain. It was that. really, it was really, bad. really, really bad. And I just didn't know what to do. Like and and that's that's What's not the up first is time that person I tattooed wasn't that demographic. <laughs> they weren't. Wow, <laughs> I've never smelled it on another race before. That's in that's insane. What are they eating? <laughs> cold cuts, probably. Probably lots of cold cuts. It's coming through the pores. It has All right, to move be. on from that before we get like I, I'm kind of like I'm like wondering I'm like do they eat a lot of sandwich meat? <laughs> Like all the time, <laughs> like, I don't know. Lando Frost, <laughs> that shit you I'm buy at the sorry. grocery store. That's all. Let it's us all rubber ass and like, shit. <laughs> like. I don't know. I eat spam and I fucking smell like I that. I don't know. I don't know. That shit was whack, bro. Okay, that was so let's bad. stop though. Don't let's ever stop do on that. that. No more. No more. Don't. Um. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Why you wouldn't show up to a tattoo appointment clean? Because your tattoos are really heat sensitive when they're first done. So. Me, I'd rather shower that morning and then not have to shower that night and get hot ass shower water over the saniderm or whatever. Cause it, it I hurts. usually shower after a tattoo. Some almost people don't know. Always. Though. Some people don't know. I shower before a hundred percent, but like just as far as that goes, I almost always shower after a tattoo. At least wash I, it off in the sink. It's no, I'm, I use I oh, do after a long or, session. After a long session, I feel like it's relaxing yeah. for me. Personally. I just want to pass out after. a Yeah, long session. I shower and then I usually go right to bed. It depends on the environment of the shop. If I felt like I was sweating and you know whatever, then I'll take a shower afterwards. But beforehand, yeah, always show up clean. But I back mean, to the stank booties. Back to the stank booties. I mean, you, you got a story, James? You me personally, I've been pretty or? lucky, and I haven't had a lot of clients that. Uh, I mean, have been ultra stinky. I've had a few, but it was it was nowhere near as bad as that dude. It was nowhere near. It was you got like, anyone that it was like twenty five percent of that. You have anyone that your <laughs> fucking nasal cavities remember? I've had to tell clients before. You have at, anyone at, at the end of a session? I've told clients before. Hey, don't ever come in here like this again. Don't yeah, <laughs> I've not in those words, but I've said, hey, you know, I've noticed that there's an odor, and uh, it made this session harder to do. So next time when you come in, get, make sure that you wash properly before get that you do. Together. Because it, it makes it harder to do my job, and you want me completely focused. You need me doing it my best. It literally does. You ain't washed behind so your ears or nothing. Yeah, I've told people that at the end of a session. I've never got it extreme enough to where I had to tell a client, like, no, I'm not going to tattoo you. you. Look at me, how I'm all clean and glistening and shit. for some stank puss? <laughs> I think you have. It was like a thigh tattoo. I've had a stank puss story. I got, I got a bunch of stank puss I don't think so, but I have stories. had, actually, that brings one to mind where I was doing a tattoo on some chick's chest. And I won't say what it was, because who knows, she might watch this video one day, but... When I was tattooing on her chest, I could smell like a vaginosis type of smell coming from her coochie. And it was weird because she was hitting on me the whole time. So like I thought Brother. that I thought that like it, I didn't notice it at first and I don't think it was even there at first, but then later in the session it became more apparent. So I'm like, is she getting all wet like while I'm doing this? Or like it is, is it like building I will throw up, getting up frothy. right here right now. Yeah, frothy and shit like during the session and I was like Pussy's and it was like really, frothing like a it rabid was dog. Very early in my career. Oh, yeasty. So I tolerated it. And then she stalked me and 
She messaged me like 26 times within half an hour what on fucking Facebook fuck? back in the day when Facebook Messenger was like a before Messenger even came out. Back when it was just messages on Facebook. Mm. And I ended up having to cut her off as a client because she got really like obsessive and weird. Um, like you will put your penis in my snaky coochie. That was a strange uh, phenomenon where I was, that was a weird situation where I was like, I, I don't know how to deal with this and had never encountered. That was my first actual experience with a very like. Um, I have quite a few stories. What odor on a client? My nose has my nasal cavities have been fucking violated. Feet. In I've had feet times. when you're tattooing on the legs and people. Got stank feet. I've had yeah. that a few times. Numerous but it's never times. been really horrible. I don't have any like extreme horror stories. It I was do. never as bad as the one she just I worked at Club Tattoo for three years. For 500 bucks. <laughs> for the money. She works hard for the money. I do. I worked at Club Tattoo for three years uh, close to ASU. And I tattooed numerous frat boys. And something about frat boys is that they do not wear socks with their boat shoes. And those fucking dogs that, that, are uh, in yeah. the shoes honey roasting all fucking day yeah. and then they come in with their stinky ass fucking feet and they want to get fucking their fraternity symbol on their ankle adjacent to their smelly fucking feet that's pretty and icky. they come in packs and they all stink i'm gonna tell you what right now when it comes the to time. feet these days if somebody comes in with stinky feet i wipe their whole foot down with green soap and i make it known to them why i'm doing it mm, i like that that's what i do you're gonna know you're gonna feel I put, you're gonna know i you put know. the I arm like you know those arm sleeves that yeah. they because i put those over their feet when you're tattooing somebody's leg and their foot is like in your chest in your the whole chest time, and sh- you smell the nah, i'm not having right it right there. here i'm not having that yeah. toes is right I'm there i'm wiping their whole foot down in between the toes and everything yeah. and maybe they like it i don't know but i'm complimentary hey guys with your tattoo it costs three hundred dollars to put down a deposit with James, and he will touch. He'll give your feet. you a foot job. So now you know. <laughs> yeah. He'll give you a foot job. Three hundred dollar hey, foot wipe Hey James, wipe you down doing you doing Asian foot massages? <laughs> you know, happy endings and shit. Yeah. You know, the, the three hundred dollar fucking the, rubbing the bars tubs. all on the ceiling and shit. I be swinging them, swinging from them, and fucking stepping on people's backs. And, oh yeah, you want the fucking. <laughs> Nah. Oh boy, um, I got no, I got a few though. There was this fool that I tattooed uh, earlier this year. I think he has some kind of crazy like derma dermatology. What's the word? Fuck, I'm thinking for dermatology issue with his skin, where he had like all these crazy little fucking like uh, like little blackheads essentially, and like it made his skin just stink. Mm. You know, because I'm pretty sure like they were all like pus filled. This was something that was completely it's outside. It's a special smell. Yeah, it's a special, a special, special smell. smell. It smells like toe jam. Yeah, but kind of like mildewed toe jam. Yeah. So, and this was something that was completely outside of his control. Funk. That's what the word funk is for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ridicule him for this because this was something that was outside of his control. Yeah. I, I put a mask on and I just did my job. And I worked on him a few times, and then I ended up firing him as a client because he was an asshole, not because of the fucking stink. He was just a fucking dickhead. So I was like, I don't want to work on you anymore. After I finished, like, the two pieces that I started, we were going to do, like, a full back piece. But um, that's one that's, like, it's just outside of their control. So, like, there's not really much you can do about that. Someone has a skin condition. He has a skin condition. Like, he probably can see a dermatologist and get, like, steroid injections or, like, something of that nature. But, like... When I say his entire body was like covered in like these little marks, how do you get tattooed if your skin has got is got That's like a condition? That's why he was getting tattoos was to, to cover, cover it, to cover yeah. all that shit up. And it was like it was an insecurity for him for sure. Like because he when I would try to record the tattoos because I was like proud of what they looked like. He was like, make sure you get really close up. I don't want them to like see my whole back and shit. You know. Yeah. But um. That's unfortunate for him. Yeah, it's unfortunate for him. But fuck that guy. He's a fucking douchebag. Yeah, it's a, but, he chose uh, to be an prick asshole. Too on top yeah, he's of it. a fucking prick. That's why I fired him as a client. He's a fucking asshole. But um, on on top of that one, in my early career, I had a fucking girl with stinky coochie. That's you funny know. how you tap on the microphone right now. Yeah. Girl, earlier. Yeah, so <laughs> and I had the thing I had to tattoo her like right on her hip bone. So I was like like I'm like you're in there. The coochie's here and I'm like here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> That's the noises you made? Cuz mine would only be outward noises. When I smell the stank, I go Yeah, so what I would do, like usually <laughs> my method for stinky people is this. I'd Yeah. Hold Yep. For as long as I can. Slowly exhale. It's meditative. It's very zen. (laughs) As long as I can. Yeah. Breathe again. Hardship builds character. Yeah. So I've had (laughs) I've had that. 
And then uh, I think probably one of the worst ones I had was a dude who just farted in my face like every 15 minutes for about six hours. What the fuck? That's horrible from the client perspective because I had gas when I got tattooed before and I'm like, should I let it rip? Should I let it go? You just hold it as long as you can. When I got and neither of us discussed what was you going it. on, but we both knew. You know, we both knew what was happening. I've had that before. You know what? I forgive fl- clients for farting. I forgive them for it. I don't. No? I get the fuck up. When I got go the, out of my room, rip ass, come back in. I'd rather you do that than fucking. Just depends on the length. Of, not the even length of the tell session. me. You're just gonna silently rip in my face like some fucking. Vicious, in my face is different. Vicious but just ass in the room. Farts. Yeah. Nah, I'm tattooing. Fool. I'm okay with the fart. I'm tattooing. I don't hear the fart, but I smell the fart, I, and it's fucking vicious. It's like White Castle slider farts, bro. Like <laughs> nasty. I know exactly ones. what you're talking. About. <laughs> nasty ones. White Castle fool. does do that shit. <laughs> nasty ones. Oh no. For six hours, bro. No warning. No icky. apology. Just fucking nasty fucking shit, dude. Like fuck that guy, man. When I got like, the back of my leg tattooed, I was literally so. I was like, what the fuck can I eat where I'm not gonna fart? Cause I'd be ripping ass, mm. but I was like, when I was out there with uh, Gilbert, I'd be ripping ass. I do <laughs> stinky booty <laughs> ass. <laughs> fucking, I was telling Stefan and Gilbert, I'm like, what the fuck do I eat right now so I don't have to fart during this appointment the whole time? Air and water. Well, yeah, no, no air. Actually. It worked. It. I don't water. know what. I can't you remember what I ate, but I, I was fine. Chicken like breasts. I wasn't super. <laughs> and brown broccoli rice. and boiled eggs. Eat what dogs eat. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was scared though. I was like, oh, I'd feel. I was like really, really, really anxious about like having a fart. But Bread, I no didn't. butter. No, I was good. But yeah, I I, I've dealt with many a stank ass in my career. A lot of musty dudes that don't put on deodorant. You know, yes. it's just is gross. Like I, I, I really hygiene is probably my biggest pet peeve. Almost every time I've had a really stank client, it's been a dude. Yeah, for the most part, mo- most women come correct, dude. I've only had, I've had one, both. one maybe two, like yeah. girls that didn't smell good. I also don't like it when somebody wears too much perfume or cologne. Yeah. I don't mind that at but all. It's, but if it smells it's, good, it's I don't worse mind for it, it to to be none of that and just stink. Because like honestly, I quite appreciate that. Like, um, if a girl has like good smelling perfume or body lotion, or even a guy if he has like a nice fresh soap scent. Like I'm this close to your armpit and I'm smelling soap and not like funk. I appreciate it. No. It makes my job that much easier that you I know if this motherfucker took a shower. Today. I just want it to be neutral. So I don't want to smell nothing when I'm tattooing. Mm. I appreciate the smell. If it smells good, I appreciate it. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why I, tattooed I don't, the guy I don't really wear cologne week. when I do tattoos because I feel like it's the, you don't know the if same thing like the other way. Yeah. Yeah. I tattooed a guy last week and I had to get like this close to his skin. I'm like, this dude smells like fresh fucking soap. Like he just got thank- out the shower. I'm like, thank you. No, it wasn't like a, mm, it was like, I appreciate <laughs> <laughs> it. <Dang>. Was- <laughs> It wasn't a, um, mm, it was, good, 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 good. it was a thank you for showering. Hey. Like, I yeah. appreciate it, dude. Like, yeah. cause most dudes, if you get that close to them, you at least smell a little bit of musk, in my opinion. Yeah. If they don't stink, you at least smell a little bit of musk on them. And this dude just smelled like soap. And I'm like, this motherfucker cleans himself well. No. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. He's got a loofah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Loofah, <laughs> he smells like fucking soap. You yeah. know, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, bet. So.